Hey, how are you doing? Holmes here, and welcome to my Wild Hearts hunt gameplay thing. A little bit of a guide, I guess. Anyways, uh, today we are going to be hunting King Tusk. So, yeah. The reason why I chose this guy is because um, when you first encounter him, I don't know, maybe it was just late, but this guy seemed really tough. But then after, like, you fight him a little bit and you're like, huh, he barely has any attacks. So, I guess this is to help out to uh, whoever may be having trouble against this guy. Uh, let me just show off my setup. I think it's right here, you can see. Yeah, this is my setup right here. So, pretty much, I have the... Uh, this is the armor set I'm using right now. Got the helmet, the chest piece, and I guess the pants. Oh, this is what you can get from the board, I think. Looks alright. But yeah, so I got that, and then um, the default gauntlets and uh, boots for that. And yeah, the weapon, just to show this off, um, it's only this, it's like level 2. So pretty much after the first two hunt that the game forces you to go through, you already get this, pretty much this weapon right here. And if you beat the boar, or you're going to have to to get to this point, I guess you're going to lock the tree. There's a, there's a decent sized tree here. So yeah, I'm still like really early on in the game. Just I post some of, uh, some gameplays here. So far, I'm really enjoying the game. Not too bad. It's living up to the monster hunter feel, I guess. This thing should be on top if um. It's following sword. Oh no, actually, I'll be on the the left side over here. Let's see if I'm right. I could be wrong. Hopefully, I don't die. <laughs> this will be embarrassing. Should be this. So instead of monster hunter, like mission by mission, this is just straight up like open open world kind of sort of it's like instead of going back all the time you're just always there this thing is not here okay so after wa wandering for some time this thing is over here near this Cherry Blossom location. This freaking guy. Here we go. Yeah, get in position. Let me kick your ass for wasting time. If it does this, you gotta want to get behind him. Otherwise, that slam does so much damage. Be careful of behind him because it does have a tail whip. This thing jumps twice. Double jump attack. Sideways body slam attack. Is it gonna rush? No, that's just the rock throw. We can just dodge by ru running and dodging sideways. What are you gonna do? I'm not sure what that was. The eye slash. I was doing the roof attack. What was it doing? I couldn't even tell what it was doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ram. No. You gotta be careful about this location because sometimes you can't build damn thing. Like if you're too close to the 
to the tree. But ram doesn't work sometimes. It's safe to get in some hits after it does that, that head slam down. Oh god. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was... Good thing I got like far away in time. Holy crap. Okay, I'm waiting for it to do a ram so I can possibly do something. Okay, it, it kind of did the ram, but that's not really what I was expecting it to do. Because there's one where it, like, it really gets ready. <laughs> so, that's what I was waiting for. But, as you can see, it's not, it's not what it did. Okay. Let's dance. Slam down. Just dodging in. That tremor. I know it's doing the ram right now, but that's not what I'm talking about. You'll see in a bit. If it does it, I can show you. Because the one that it was doing, it just, it kind of just comes out of nowhere, just now. But there is one that where you can. There's a tell. Oh my god! Stopping difficult. What are you doing? Oh, it's gonna run. That's like the the sign that's gonna run when it roars. I haven't upgraded my equipment. Ever since I beat the tutorial version or the story version. So, pretty much, this is still the gear that I got right after defeating the second hunt. So, if you think I have like some sort of more OP setup just to, you know, do damage against this guy, it's, it's not it. It's, it's still like more or less kind of a crappy setup. We will upgrade this dragon pit. And since we got the track on the monster, when we hold L2, it will tell us where the monster went, even though we don't see it. That's good. The crappy thing is finding the monster is a problem, because there's like several locations, just like a monster hunter, where it can, where the monsters can be, you know, spawning at. Speaking of getting the track, where the heck did it go? And it really took off, holy crap. Yeah, the berries is a tusk on the ground. I'll do that. A little throw in here. Ooh, watch out for the slam down. I think the most. The part that you really need to get the hang of, it's like. You gotta get the hang of the, the combos of your weapon. Since I'm one trick pony, I only know how to use the longsword. But if you want to be like, oh shoot, that's the thing I'm talking about. You want to make the wall? I made it really weird, but it worked. <laughs> yeah, you want to try to combo his head slash back. Oh god. Oh, it rushed. 
it's still not enraged yet either, so. We'll see it get enraged in a bit. Pretty sure that's coming up soon. And uh, head slam. Thank you. Your Tsukumo was very useful. If you're like in critical condition, it'll try to save your ass and everything. So. This just gives you more crafting material for like making walls and stuff like that. The, the Fortnite stuff. I think it might give you the blue meter. I'm not really sure because I was already at maximum when I was doing it. Yeah, you want to be underneath when that happens. Unless you're. S you're confident you can run away far enough. You want to be near its like crotch area, otherwise that's gonna catch you, and your character can get stunned in this game. So you don't want that to happen, especially against like these these monsters, because they hit like so hard. Not feel. All right, Kara Kiri mode. Oh shoot! Make the wall. I think I think we might have pissed it off, maybe. I'm not really sure. Oh no, it's doing that thing. Nope. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing baseball every time it's doing that. We gotta slide to safety. And he's safe. Two this is a three hit combo after this. Safe to go in for a few shots. Stepped on me. That move can it can do back to back so be careful. Yeah, that charge attack sometimes just comes out of nowhere. Oh wow. Okay, I will back up because I don't want to get comboed and possibly die. There's one thing I was curious about. Can you? Oh, you can grab on when it's running. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. I can't see very well. It's camera angle. Okay, we got some of its power thing. Did it make them stop running when that happened? Oh cool. It did, but it didn't really matter because it just keeps running again. Wow, it still hasn't gone in reach, so it's either I'm doing good damage or super crap damage. Which I'm gonna say probably the second one. Because I really don't felt like like I really don't feel like I did much damage at all. Yet. But then like the time I beat him, it actually I can't remember if it went in rage once or twice. The slide thing, you really just go. Okay. Oh my god, the tremors. Test it? No, it's still, it's still doing the that thing. Ouch! Yep, saw that coming. I almost got hit by that. Woo! 
That rock thing has like the 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 tracking on it is so crap. I'm gonna rush. Come on. See, you really like it. Really, barely does the freaking rush. Okay, now it's getting pissed. Oh wait, I need to get away actually. Yep, it does that as someone's that big ass fucking tree thing. So you gotta really watch out for that. Yeah, that does so much. Alright, alright. Crazy board. Uh, I'll leave you alone for a moment here. Yeah. I really, I firmly believe you can break the tusk. Although that might, that might just be me, you know, imagining things. But looks like it's breakable, right? <laughs> I'm not sure. I've never done it before. Never watched any videos on it either, so. But it's just like the way it looks. It looks like it should be able to. Like, you should be able to break it, is what I'm saying. It was like blasting EI slash. Gonna rush? Okay, no. Where is it gonna... If it breaks through that, I'm screwed. Oh no, it actually... Wow, that was standard. Okay. Okay, break that. Multi-slash. That was great actually. Not too bad. And it's not enraged anymore. That's not gonna that's not yeah, that's not gonna happen. Come on now. That EI slash could have gone a little bit better. You're limping. Okay. Well, I do have a camp set up to where it limps towards. But I, I kind of, I also kind of want to show off how to get there. <laughs> I was thinking of just cutting to the part where I found them, but I guess I will speed up that part. It just be, won't be much of a. Oh, this guy really jumped this thing, okay. Well, there's one trick you can do. You can fast travel to the beginning location, because this will always be here, unless you set up your camp somewhere else, or you destroyed your camp. Because you can do that in this game. It's all about building and stuff. So pretty much where you found him in the story that's where it'll go once it starts limping so up there so i'm assuming y'all found a way to you know get up there with the 
with a zip line. I mean, if you ran, if you somehow climbed up there, I'd be pretty freaking amazed because your ca your character don't have much stamina in this game, climbing wise. Like I was struggling. Look, look, look at the stamina. It's already almost gone. Okay. Come on, four. Don't make me look like a liar. Is this still climbing or it's like... What's happening here? Don't tell me it's like somewhere else. Oh, by the way, is it coming? No, it's it, it stopped somewhere, okay. Well, it's okay because we have this. Surprise, surprise. I guess it's a little bit different than the, the one in the story. What did it go? Oh, I thought I nailed him. What? Where's it going? Come here. Oh crap. Alright, come on. It's enraged. That, that's exactly what I. Wait a second. It also does that one other thing when it's enraged. My dumbass. Doing. Okay. I want to be at full health so it doesn't one shot me. Because I can do that. The freaking guy. Hello? How are you doing? Oh no! Almost got me there, fancy pants. Right, okay, like chopped off like parts of its tail. Or yeah, I gotta watch out for the the body slam stuff. That's still deadly as all hell. That's not gonna work. <laughs> I can't believe the roll dodge actually worked on the. Uh oh. Get out of there. Yeah, that's the super damaging effect. Still trying to break the tusk over here. I, I still believe that's a thing that can happen. What's it doing? Oh, it's charging. Alright, come on now. Yeah, I'll be over here. Mm -hmm. It just freaking flips like 10,000 times before it lands. Ooh, it's dead. Goodbye. King Tusk. That's it, that's all. Defeats, zero. Kimono orbs, 420. Roar of the boar. That's it. That's all. Leaving. <laughs> Twenty something seconds. I'm su I'm surprised this is still a thing. Like, you know, whatever. You can't carve the monster. The all the stuff that just like it's dumped into your inventory.
yeah, it's like <laughs> they even have this. So, in a way, like the open world part is just like it's weird, or maybe I'm not, I haven't gotten deep into the game yet to get a a central hub. Basically, I'm at the hunting ground creating camps instead of like in Monster Hunter World where you find the camps that you can fast travel to. Like right here, we I set up a camp for myself right here. This is pretty much where you encounter the boar when you're going through story. And then where you start is down here. And you can you can pretty much in, like travel through this. You can put camps and whatever. I don't know if there's a limit. There may be, maybe not. I'm not really... 100% sure on that. I haven't explored much yet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is where we found them this run. But originally, I believe you find them. No, at the place where we kill them, actually. So, I think we freaking kill them here. This is like first spawn location. And then there's this part. And I think he travels to some other place. I like I didn't really look at the map, but probably here or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> rambling. Um, yeah, that's a uh, that's that's the King Tusk hunt with the katana. So yeah, I'm gonna be posting some more hunts here and there. And uh, that's how I'm planning to get through February. So yeah, uh, thank you all so very much for watching. And hopefully this video has been entertaining. Maybe helpful. Hopefully helpful. But yeah, if y'all found at least one of those qualities in this video, then hey, hopefully y'all stay tuned for more. But until next time, I hope to catch y'all later. Ohms. Uh, oops.